Okay. Been at this for a while. And then I took a break yesterday, but uh, I ended up turning this around this way so that I, I could uh, I could easier uh, to crank this clockwise as I uh, retract the cutter. But I'm going to get a couple passes here. And, uh, and then I'll index. So I'll take a well, I'll take a few passes and then I'll pull this guide back, the spindle. Then I'll turn this I'll turn this clockwise slightly as I push this back in. And now we're in the next we indexed uh, one flat on that uh, hex key. So I'll push it through. I can feel a cut and maybe hear it a little bit. Um, push it back. Turn it clockwise to take up this, uh, this. We don't want it to uh, start out in the wrong position so we turn it this way clockwise looking from this end push it through a couple times and I'm turning it I'm turning it clockwise as I push it back as well now it seems to be following the now that the grooves are established it seems to be following them pretty well couple passes and then index to the next flat there so this would be the third one since I started this video make a few passes oh. It's um, it's a pretty good workout. It's uh, it's tedious, but if we try to make it cut too much at once, we get to the point where pushing this through by hand would be uh, would be a real chore. So there's a few cuts there. Withdraw, turn, next flat. So this is the fourth one. Okay, index again. Okay, no, this is the, this will be the fifth. go to the sixth one make a couple passes and then I'll pull it out I'll clean the cutter off I'll show you um, what the what it looks like so far let's see
Okay. I'll end up with this cutter. Um, so I can show you what kind of what kind of material we removed. Let's see if we can see this. Get a little better light on it. Oh, back here. So you can see both shavings there. So now that we're mostly out. I'm gonna pull this out. Set it aside. Turn this over. Cause this cutter is gonna spring on me. Let's see, we got a See if we got, and yeah, we get good focus. So that's what those passages did right there. So I intermittently pull this out, and wipe it off. I um. Uh, I haven't had to touch up the cutting edge in a while. It seems to uh, seems to be cutting well enough. It's just it doesn't take a it doesn't take a really big it doesn't take a really big bite each time. Now it um, and now that the bottom of the the grooves are getting uh, smoother. It doesn't, uh, I don't feel it grab as much as I did in the beginning. It would, uh, it would really, it would really grab in the beginning. And now it's just a nice, even, uh, even cut. It's small amounts of material, but let's see if we can get a good, get a good view of what we've got going so far. Get my light here. Get it to focus. How we go? A little bit. And you start to see. I mean, it's really. I got some. Um, I don't know how to incorporate them into the the video yet, but uh, some of the earlier pictures. This it was really rough, but uh, let's see. Get my patented uh, pointer here. But here's the groove from here to here is a groove. And there's the land. There's another land right there. I had, uh, I calculated these grooves to be, it looks like I, looks like I did them for, to be twice as wide as the lands. But it's been, uh, it's been so long since I made this cutter. Let's see if I can get a, a picture where you can see the twist. I should say view. Get this here. I 
if I can get this too close or what, but. That doesn't help. I think it wants to. I think it wants to focus here. And it's a, looks like most of the reamer marks are out of the uh, out of the grooves now. There's there's a good one down there. You can see. But, um, I'm not sure that the, the cuts are five grand deep yet. It's hard to say. It's getting there. We're starting to see. I don't know if I can show it here. Let's get the light over here. But we're starting to see where we can. Yeah, it's not showing up real good here. Let's see, zoom in more. That's it. I'm starting to be able to tell where the uh, where the lines and grooves are at the muzzle here, but it's not quite showing up. Let's see if I can brighten it up. There we go. You can see them a little bit there. You can see, you get my, uh, get my official pointer here. See if I can, you can see right here. There's a land here and a groove here. A groove from here to here. Another land. And you can see how we change the angle. We can we can see that what we're looking at is true. All right, this is the first time I slugged this bore. I didn't beat this down too much, but you can see we got some, you can see we got some lands. Pretty good one there. And they're all showing now. And when I run a tight patch through it, the, it turns the rod. It twists the rod. So, it would probably work now. I'd like to like to go deeper with it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna keep going deeper. Anyway, all right, so I got this, um, you can kind of see them there. You see the lands are, are the narrower, and the grooves are much wider, which is good out on, uh, towards the, the, uh, the bore diameter, the smaller diameter. But uh, I want to dig it down deeper, so what I did was I got my... I got my uh, cutter here. Let's see if I can. So I got my um, 
that was full with a pointer here. Let's see. A full width went from from here over to here. When I came with my stone and I put that so we can see that. I put that facet on it right there. And I put one over here. And I made this cutter width narrower across the top here. Out front. So hopefully that will start cutting much deeper now. Let's see what happens. 